So here we are in the light house, yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but he, it sounds like Mountain Ash, but maybe Mount Ash, I don't know. So we're just up in the lamp room. I did take some pictures up there, so I'll be put in uh, now. If you can give an idea, see an idea of what the lighthouse looks like. Typical bleak day in Wales, so you can't really see a lot. You can just make out the, the coast there with England of Somerset. Uh, they do weddings up here, which isn't in this room, but it's the room next floor down. <sighs> Smell the sea air coming in. So this is where they do the weddings. I'll give you a much better look at this now, so you should bottom of these steps, so here we go, do a few ceremonies there, bride and groom would obviously stand in front of that and off they go. Got some nice music piped up here as well, I mean you got, go back up, so you've got a stereo here yeah, playing some tunes you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Say 16 chairs. 16 chairs laid up around there. Very tight space. Very cramped space. I suppose you want to get married in a lighthouse, and it's a good place to go. So, this is the old lamp room now. That's where they put the old lamp in, which used to be at the top where we started. Some of the bulbs that they used. And then the story behind the red sheet it is, is that there's a sandbank that shifts and basically they move this, the red sheet in to cover that, the area of the sandbank. So if you're approaching the lighthouse from a certain angle, which is somewhere out there, you'll see the sandbank. And if you see the red, you know you're on course to uh, run aground. So you need to position your ship and move around so you don't run aground. Yeah, no.